in this question for the function with rule f of x equal to the square root of 6 minus 2x, which of the following is the maximal domain? So the maximal domain is the biggest domain that will fit the function. The biggest set of x values that will mean that you can get a valid output for an f of x value or a y value. Or in this particular case, the biggest set of numbers that when you sub them into here, you're going to be able to take the square root of whatever number you end up with. So the way to do this one, and because it's the square root of a function, so the whole thing's a function, but you're taking the square root of a linear function, to take the square root of anything, the anything has to be zero or above. So the way to do this one, to find the domain or the set of x values, all you have to do is let the part under the square root be more than or equal to zero. So that's all you do. You go six minus, just want to change color here. It's a little bit dark. So all you have to do is let six minus two x be more than or equal to zero and then solve that. So putting, adding two x to both sides, you end up with six is greater than or equal to two x. From there, dividing both sides by two and then you end up with three is more than or equal to x. In other words, x is less than or equal to three. So in this kind of notation, which is interval notation, x being less than three, so x could be anything from minus infinity up to the value of three, and because it's including the value of three, you're going to have a square bracket there. And here, always a round bracket or positive or negative infinity. So this is the one you're looking for here, E. So if you picked any X number in that set of numbers, let's pick zero. So if you go six minus two times zero, two times zero is zero. Six minus zero is six. And then the square root of six, you can get an answer for that. If you pick a number greater than three, such as the number four, two times four is eight. 6 minus 8 is minus 2, and you can't take the square root of that. Not in methods, you can't. In specialists, there is an answer to that. However, that's a different branch of mathematics. So you can always test your answer. And uh, that's pretty much it for this question. So remember, the maximal domain is the same as the implied domain. And it's really just the biggest set of x values that will make um, that you can sub into the function and get a valid answer for the y value. So that's about it for this lesson on the maximal domain and I'll see you in the next one.